he made the choice to drive. At 18 years old, Logan Riley's life is over. And with all of our choices come consequences. In this case, the consequences were deadly. Two lives tragically cut short. Jake and Madison had no choice as to who was going to be sharing the road with them that day. That day, in front of Saugus High School, when a distracted drunk driver killed two of his classmates. Luckily, the deadly crash was a simulation. A chance for first responders to mend fake wounds, to save real lives. Instead of spending money on Christmas presents and planning for a family Christmas, his family is getting an attorney. Though it was an act, the emotions were real, both at the crash scene and in the courtroom. She's not going to have a family. None of her dreams are going to come true because you took that from her. Because this is what it's like to lose a child. In the simulation, Debbie Hollers was told Riley killed her daughter Madison. Oh dear God, um, I'm so glad that this isn't real. <laughs> At times, it all felt real. Sadness. But unfortunately, we're here today. Depression. Hatred. Just I couldn't believe that he made the, it was a choice. It wasn't an accident. It was a choice and, and he made a bad choice. It's a reality. Many parents face every day, every 15 minutes. You will have to live with the choices that you made and the consequences of those choices. Jake and Madison don't get to live any longer. Officials hope this program saves lives so that no one feels the tragic loss of losing a child. Absolutely heartbreaking. I, I can't even um, imagine. And um, something needs to change. You know, people need to um, realize that when you get behind a wheel of a car, it's a serious thing. Reporting for The Signal, I'm Austin Dave.